As far as ropes for climbing, there is quite a selection these days. 12 strand rope used to be a fairly common climbing line. That's because it was a whole lot better than the three strand rope that was available at the time. If you had a choice between a three strand rope and a 12 strand rope, then generally people like the advantages of the 12 strand better than the disadvantages of a three strand. However, there's a lot of stretch in these 12 strand ropes. Because of that stretch, it makes, that's a tremendous disadvantage when you're climbing. So with the other ropes that we have these days available for climbing that have less stretch, then generally 12 strand is not recommended as a climbing line anymore. Great for rigging. In a traditional system, here we've got just a steel locking snap and a tail that comes over to the other side of the line with a friction hitch tied. We'll just call this a traditional system. Then a 16 strand rope is generally a good choice. You're gonna get a lot of life out of that 16 strand rope. It's gonna be good to the hand and it's going to perform well with your climbing hitch. So traditional 16 strand. Even when you get over to the more basic split tail climbing systems, here we've got an aluminum snap into the end of the rope with a splice die. And on the other side, we've got this white rope, which is a split tail, and it's attached to another aluminum snap and the micro pulley. So for a basic split tail system, a 16 strand rope such as this yellow jacket would work well. And then we're going to talk about the 24 strand ropes for some of the more advanced split tail systems. With the double eye split tail, we're able to incorporate a lot of other options as far as our friction hitch. So again, like on here, we're pretty much stuck with a Blake's hitch or a taut line. With the double eye split tail, we can incorporate a swabish, a distal, a Michicon, a VT or Batatane Trace or some type of variation of the VT. So when we refer to a double eye split tail or I and I split tail, we're referring to a cordage that has eye spliced on both ends. And again, this allows for a larger selection of cordages and the type of friction hitches that you're gonna utilize. With a 16 strand single eye split tail, you just have this one single eye and you're forced to to utilize a Blake's hitch or taut line hitch. So again, with this system right here, for the more advanced people or somebody that wants a little more fine tuning of their system, this is a really, really good choice. For the more advanced climbers who wanna look at newer techniques, that's where the 24 strand double braids come into play. With these double braids, uh, it's not required, but it is advisable and best practice to incorporate a friction saving device at your tie-in point. With these double braids, the options available to you far exceed what's available with a 16 strand. The construction is a tighter braid. Um, there's also a lot of different diameters available. So you can tune in your system uh, to whatever personal preference you have. Also incorporating a double eye split tail, such as this ocean split tail, you're able to have a larger selection of diameters of cordage and you also have a larger selection of hitches that you're able to utilize. So with this, this type of system, it really works well. It's very, very smooth, uh, very easy for the climber on ascent and descent. 